Welcome back guys. In this video, I wanna share my results from some tests I've been running on Skylum's soon to be released latest extension for Luminar Neo, which is the Upscale AI. And the purpose of this extension is to take our photos and enlarge them by increasing the resolution, therefore giving us more pixel information to work on when we're editing. So this is ideal for photos you may have shot a long time ago on a smaller, lower resolution camera, or for your current higher resolution images where you want a tighter crop in on the action, and therefore you can be throwing away, discarding pixel information, and you want to rescale your cropped image and bring in more pixel information to work with. Another thing you may want to do is just upscale your image because you're interested in large format printing. And again, that's gonna give you more resolution to throw into your printer for hopefully higher quality work. But here's the thing, so far, spoiler alert, I haven't been particularly impressed. So we'll get to some examples in a minute so I can illustrate my point, but the fact that it's called Upscale AI, and AI being a thing that Skylum is big on, they've brought some really great tools in the past. However, that AI component, that is insinuating that there is some intelligence at work during that upscale process. And currently, I'm not really seeing that. So far, I've found it hasn't really outperformed standard non-AI algorithms for upscaling. So it is a little bit disappointing. But where the AI may actually be coming in is with the simplicity of actually getting the results. It's drag and drop, just like the HDR merge tool, super simple to use. So I suppose there is a bit of intelligence going on behind the scenes to make our workflow easier. But let's load Neo and actually see what I'm talking about. Alrighty, 2001 throwback to the old Olympus C2020Z. This photo has such low resolution that even to fit it on my 4K screen, we are already zoomed into 141%. So if I put this at 100%, you can see just how small this is. Nowadays, I'm having to zoom out to fit to screen, not zoom in. But what do we do if we want to actually enlarge this photo? Well, it's super simple. Uh, once you've actually loaded the Upscale AI tool, which you can do by clicking on the jigsaw puzzle icon in the top left, and here you can see Upscale AI. I already have it installed, but when you first open this, this will have an option to install it. Just click that button, and then you will see the tool appear here underneath Focus Stacking and HDR Merge. And just like HDR Merge and Focus Stacking, all you do is grab your photo, drag it over, and just drop it into the tool. And now you can see that we have our options for two times, four times, or six times upscaling. And we click Upscale, Luminar does its processing and it actually does that very quickly. And the photo is then sent to a new folder that Luminar creates called Upscale and then the different versions, that's what you can find in here. And you can see that I've already played around with some other images back from 2001 at the Cannes Film Festival here, um, a couple of landscape shots, um, my wife 20 years ago, and this one here that's a cropped in version. So in terms of use, it's really that simple. It's literally drag and drop and then the software does everything else for you. So in terms of dissing on the fact that it was called upscale AI. Maybe I've been a little bit harsh. Maybe that's what the AI component of it is doing. But in terms of a direct comparison with other upscaling methods, let me take you through these examples, my results, and you can make your own mind up. Okay, let's kick things off in 2001 when times were simpler and cars were pretty ugly and blonde hair was a thing and resolutions on cameras weren't very good back then. So what if we want to upsize that? Well, here you go. Luminar Neo's upscaled this twofold. So this is certainly getting to the point that now we could actually print this and it is a usable print. However, let's push things a bit further and let's go four times zoom. Now already you can see the issue that we're having here. So one of the things from back then was that memory was at a premium and so JPEG compression used to be thrust onto our images a little bit more forcefully and so often that compression would still be very visible. And currently with my upscaling of my original, not only is it upscaling the pixel information and the image itself, but it's also appearing to upscale that JPEG compression as well. And that's probably my main beef with this tool at the moment is that I was expecting more. I was expecting like some uh, AI smoothing to be going on to be getting rid of that sort of compression. But uh, I've seen this with Gigapixel before, which incidentally is, my opinion, the best ups, upscaling, can't talk today, the best upscaling software available on the market. It does a fantastic job. And I've also done some comparisons that we'll look at in a minute. So if upscaling imagery is something that you're genuinely interested in and should be part of your workflow, that is the tool that currently I would recommend. But Gigapixel, 
didn't start out that way. I've seen improvements with that and its AI technology along the way. So it's currently very good, but you know it had to get there. And perhaps we're going to say see the same thing with Luminar Neo, that this will be a progression of the technology that's driving the algorithm. So this is the beta as well. So admittedly like what we see when this is released in a few days time and you know over the next month may well be vastly improved okay so six times zoom you can certainly see all of that compression but it is doing a few nice things you know it's recognizing uh, particular shapes and creating its own edges and things so if I flick between this version and what is the standard upscaled version that we see here, and I go back to the Neo version, we are getting a sharper version on Neo, and it's also depixelating as well to a certain extent. I would like to have seen more. It is softening those edges whilst it's still maintaining sharpness or increasing sharpness. So it is an improvement over this version here, this more pixelated upscale, but it's not as good as I was hoping for. So let me now show you the gigapixel version. You know, that is so much cleaner. Look at the cars, look at the detail in the uh, van in the background over here. Look at the detail in the hair. If we flick back to the standard upscaled one, it's been able to actually introduce hair detail from a pixelated and compressed version through to actually introducing, recognizing where hair should be and actually creating the hair. And it's also smoothed out the skin. I mean, look at the guy in the back left. This is the original, this is the upscaled Neo version. And then if we compare that to what Gigapixel has done, it's actually become a person. So that's pretty cool that Gigapixel was able to do that. And the other thing to note with my Gigapixel enlargements is I didn't play with any of the settings. I just left everything as default, which was like the standard upscale. So you can actually improve the result that I'm showing here. There's a lot of fine tunements that you can do there that you can't do inside of Neo, which may be a benefit if you just want that simplicity of the workflow but if you want to dive a bit deeper and you want to really um, fine tune your upscaling then gigapixel again is the way to go in the past topaz have given me a discount code that i believe is still applicable for gigapixel so i'll put that with the link in the description below if you do want to check out gigapixel so in this next graphic on the far right, you can see the standard upscale, which is just literally enlarged the actual pixels sixfold. And on the far left, you can see the Neo version. That is an improvement on the standard upscale. However, look at the massive difference with gigapixels upscale. You know, that is just a night and day comparison. All right, let's move on to another example. This is a landscape, again, 2001. First time I actually came to New Zealand, which is now my home. And this is Mitre Peak in Milford Sound that I've subsequently tried to photograph and it's always covered in cloud. God, didn't know what I had when I was right there. Anyway, here we go. There's a two times upscale done by Luminar Neo. And already we're starting to see like quite a bit of pixelation going on here. So I'm not in love with this already. A four times upscale again. We're seeing all of that compression that is inherently in that JPEG file. It is actually upscaling that compression rather than fixing it, which is a real shame. And here we go. We're going to six times zoom. And then the next frame is going to be my gigabyte pixel one and if we look at the difference between the two of those I mean admittedly the gigapixel one is by no means perfect but what an improvement between what Luminar Neo has already done and that is supposedly an AI powered algorithm to create this result but gigapixel is way better for that and here if we look at the top of the mountain as well again you can see the massive difference between the two so while I am a little bit disappointed by the results being spat out by upscale AI, I'm thinking perhaps I'm comparing it unfairly because Gigapixel has been around a lot longer. It's had a chance for that AI to develop and the bar has been set very, very high by that. It's like the primo of the primo in my opinion. So yes, Neo is doing an okay job, but I really feel like it's just an upscale tool rather than saying it's upscale with AI because if it was AI I really feel like it should be getting rid of that compression as you can see in the sky between the gigapixel version and the neo version the sky is just nice and clean the edges of the mountain are nice and clean and it is even intelligently recognized that they are supposed to be trees on the side of the mountain and kind of intelligently created treeness into our image. So 
Okay, let's move on. Okay, for this next image, it's a change of tack. Rather than keep using older photos from a smaller megapixel camera, this is a crop in on a 24 megapixel uh, camera. This is my wife on a boogie board down at the local beach, whizzing along. I think I was at about 300 times zoom on the lens anyway, so zoomed right in. I still wanted to get tighter, so I've cropped this image. We're now down to a 10 megapixel file. So what if I want to upscale that 10 megapixel file? Here we go, there's two times zoom by Luminar, it's increased twofold. This is a four fold increase. And as you can see, it's still showcasing a lot of the magenta and cyan fringing that I get in that particular rather cheap lens. So perhaps by fixing up the chromatic aberration before running this would have removed that, but I haven't run that test yet to be sure. But currently a little disappointing and even at six times zoom, it's again magnifying the image, but it's also magnifying the faults within the image as well. And now if I jump to the gigapixel version, you can see that it's recognized where that magenta fringing is, it's cleaned up the skin Skin. it's cleaned up a lot of the digital noise that's there and that is a much much cleaner file it's also introduced hair if you look around her ear um, just over here you can see that currently no hair um, in the neo version whereas in the gigapixel version it's introduced hair and a side by side comparison again night and day so that's just confounding my disappointment with the upscale AI tool at the moment. Now, before Skylum disowned me and stopped sending me any beta stuff to look at, um, I must say that the HDR merge tool I'm very impressed with. And the last video that I did that was on background removal AI, also really love that. So some of those extensions are absolutely fantastic. Focus stacking as well, very good. But this one, maybe again, they've set the bar quite high for themselves and by releasing this one that I just feel is less than I expected based on Skylum's very strong till now AI technology track record. So that's a, a diplomatic way of putting it. But hopefully we will see this AI algorithm improve. If in the meantime, you just wanna get your hands on something that's much better, in my opinion, for this upscaling, I would certainly check out Gigapixel by Topaz. I've got a link in the description below with that discount code. And I will be back with another video looking at the next Luminar extension, providing Skylum give it to me. Okay, cheers for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.